This video demonstrates an input string stream. So we have a program on the right that prompts the user to enter some information about an individual, uh, the, including the first name, the age, and the occupation. And then we output that data. Let's go ahead and run the program and see what it looks like. So Jason is a 32-year-old doctor. And I did enter Jason32 and doctor. You know, that's the correct format. And then the output's not quite right yet. Actually, it's not right at all. We should have Jason is a 32-year-old and then doctor at the end. OK, no problem. So this is a good usage for string streams. What we're going to be doing is breaking down this inputted string, which is named person data. We're going to break that string down into the three parts. The first, Jason, should be stored in the first name. The second part, 32, should be stored as an integer in the variable age. And the final part, doctor, should be stored as a string in the occupation variable, OCC. So let's create a input string stream. And we'll call this in person. So it's the input. OK. Next, enter the code here that will copy the string person data into the input string stream. All right, let's see how we're doing so far. We have an error. I string stream has incomplete type, and that's because we need to include the library s stream. There we go. Short for string stream. Okay. Great, now let's compile, and we'll execute JSON32Doctor. JSON32Doctor, okay. So the next thing we can do is we can treat the input string stream like we would with CN. So what we'll use is the extraction operator, the arrow arrows just like with CN, and what that will do is it will get all the data up till the first space or new line. And in this case, it would just be the word Jason because there's a space after Jason. So let's put in first name and see how that works. And now our output at the very end is starting to look good. So Jason is a zero-year-old blank. So now we just need to extract the occupation and the age. Let's compile and execute. And we'll put Jason 32 doctor again. And here we have Jason is a zero year old 32. A zero year old 32. So 32 is supposed to be the age, but it's in the location of the occupation. Oh, so these two lines of code are actually the reversed. What's happening is I'm trying to store the number 32 inside of occupation. Well, that works fine because it outputs 32. And then I'm trying to store doctor inside of an integer age. And that just ends up being a zero because that doesn't actually make any sense. OK, so if I had the right order now, first name, age, occupation, let's see what happens. So we'll say Jason, 32, doctor. So Jason is a 32-year-old doctor. Cool. Now what about if we get something backwards. So we say Jason Doctor 32. And yeah, we end up with completely incorrect output because this doctor is going into the age again and then 32 is going into the occupation. It's completely causing a problem. So we may want to do some error checking or very much stress to the user that the order, the input, is very important. Okay, there's some examples. Thank you.